Hello and welcome back to another Strong Collectors Quick Reacts. Today we got the release, uh, or well, I guess the announcement of a two-pack for the Squadron Supreme. We've got Hyperion and who is this? Doctor Spectrum. Spectrum. Right. Yes, I remember us talking about this on our leaks episode. Um, right. Not super familiar with the characters. I read some Squadron Supreme. That's probably been like 15 years ago now, so I don't remember <laughs> much of it. Do you know much about these characters, Jordan? If I remember right, at least Hyperion, I know he's like from an alternate world mm. where he's kind of like a Superman type figure, but mm -hmm. more of an antagonist than yeah. a hero. So, but maybe he reforms or something. I'm, yeah, I'm not totally that's... clear on. I feel like the whole Squadron Supreme is. is kind of like villains doing heroish things or heroish doing villainy things like you know kind of like a punisher type where it's like they're they're probably fighting bad guys but maybe i i don't know leave us a comment tell us what we're saying wrong here but um i don't know what, what's your first impression of these uh figures here jordan uh well right off the bat i mean i don't have much interest in the characters mm -hmm. so that kind of takes takes him down a little bit right right mm -hmm. away but even looking at him i don't know like it they, they just don't look that great to me yeah i, I mean i mean i think like i don't know if you have the pictures with you right now pulling it up but i think hyperion's like well i guess first of all like a lot of people are mentioning the pins it is a very goofy combination of pins where Hyperion has pinned arms and pinless legs and um what's his name? Doctor Spectrum. Dr. Spectrum. Keep forgetting it. Alright, Doctor Spectrum has the reverse where he's got pinless legs, but or no, he's got pins in his legs and pinless arms. So it's like <laughs> I don't know if they did that on purpose where it's like, oh, you get pins here, you get pins in the other, and then pinless, pinless. So it's like yeah. I almost feel like I would have rather them just had, like, maybe Hyperion to have pinned arms and legs and then yeah. give Dr. Spectrum pinless both. I don't know. It just seems weird. Um, another, so yeah, I guess the first weird thing on Hyperion, that lower torso is, like, tripping me out because it's, like, the crotch piece goes clear up to his, like, <laughs> diaphragm. So it's kind of like a built-in belt. Like, I understand that's, like, his costume, but it's just kind of an interesting... Like, I wonder if that's, like, a separate, like, kind of soft plastic piece on it, like a diaper. But it seems <laughs> like it's all one molded thing with, like, another lower torso underneath it. So it's... I don't know. That's interesting to me. Um, cape looks sculpted in, so that's nice that it's not just, like, a ported on. Because I think we, we got an old Hyperion. I think it was, um, like, when we got Sentry. I think it was kind of like you either get Sentry <laughs> or Hyperion. Um, yeah, that that looks. I mean, he's gonna have no movement in his. Yeah, waist. I can't imagine he's gonna have. Yeah, there's not gonna be any waist cut for sure. Even like a forward like diaphragm crunch, I think, would be hindered by that. Whatever that is, his like. <laughs> six pack, belt. Yeah, his like bulletproof six pack belt. Um. And like his mask, like I know that's his mask, but it just kind of looks a little odd in some pictures to me. Um, but anyway, you got him, but then also if you zoom in on, what the heck, <laughs> who is this guy? Is it Dr. Spectrum? Dude. Yeah, Dr. Spectrum. Okay. Yeah, every, every time I just pause, just, just say the name. Look at his like upper legs to his like thighs. It's a, a different colored green. And it's like not a purposely like like he's, he's oh. a lot of colors. He's got his yellows, reds, blues, greens, but it's like a lighter green and a darker green. We couldn't get the colors to match there. I don't know. That seems odd. So I, I do think yeah. he look overall. He looks cool. I, I kind of like the look of him. But yeah. those different colored greens. He's another one. He's kind of like Yondu, where it's like I would like him just to have like color variety on my shelf because I like to like you know not have too much of the same color clumped together and you're not i mean mm -hmm. all these colors i also they come with stuff but it's kind of a bare bones pack to me because <laughs> you got hyperion comes with 
fisted hands and kind of like yeah. gripping hands. So at, at least he doesn't come with like trigger fingers like Sentry did. But then Dr. You can do it. <laughs> I just want to keep saying like Dr. Prism or something. Spectrum. Dr. Spectrum. He comes, because I want to keep calling him Prism, he comes with his power prism. So it's like a little, looks like translucent gem. And then he's got the kind of like spell casting effects that came with Dr. Strange. And he's got um, kind of like, I don't know, like, I don't know what you call it, like claw, magic y hands, and then yeah. gripping hands. So, yeah, you get alternate hands, but I feel like, I mean, again, I don't know the character super well, but I feel like Dr. Spectrum should have came with like some fists, maybe, instead of the gripping hands, because he's already got like, like wider yeah. gripped hands. <laughs> I don't know. I know a lot of people have been commenting on the uh, Hyper again. I don't know who's posing these uh, shots here for us, but the Hyperion that looks like he's just taken a massive dookie. <laughs> it's like they were like, "Oh, let's pose him like he's doing like a Super Saiyan like power up. He's gonna go fight." Yeah, it looks, everybody in the comments on all the announcements are saying like, "Oh, he doesn't come with the big turd effect." <laughs> Uh, that was Sam's first comment when I showed it to her for a thumbnail. So. <laughs> Maybe we could get like a little poop emoji on there for it. Um, <laughs> but then I also just think that like, again, the like, <laughs> One of him, like... <laughs> he's like doing some like kung fu move. Where it's, like, they're like, oh no, look, his gripping hand is useful because you can have him doing a kung fu no you cannot I don't, it just doesn't work like this the posing i'm sorry to whoever took uh, these pictures like this was definitely not one sixth shooter who's usually doing like the mythic legion product shots this looks like amateur hour maybe to me. that's maybe that's part of it too because even the dr spectrum shots all look mm -hmm. really boring right it's like they kind of were like oh this is how he could kind of look on a flight stand but it's like yeah but he just looks like he's doing like a ballerina pose and he's got the like <laughs> power effect like halfway up his arm yeah i don't know man these yeah maybe <laughs> these pictures do, we, do, do not help sell the products for sure do we know the price uh it was 50 bucks or like 49.99 or whatever that price range is so it's 25 dollars each so it's not like terrible it's what you mm. pay for them if they were single carded but i don't think those to me would not be worth 25 bucks no, I agree, Beach. but it's it's just like it's it's a standard like that's what you're gonna get with like buying Moonstone or Sentry. Again, no build a figure pieces in there. It comes with you know seven accessories, which is two hands for each, two power effects, and then the power prism. Again, yeah, I agree. Not worth fifty bucks to me. I know. Um, I saw Clay in the groups. He was saying he was super excited. He was gonna pick them up. I mean, I think if these are characters that you are really excited for, like 50 bucks is a decent price. I just think they, I don't know. We keep saying like Hasbro could do better and like, it just seems like they kind of like took some weird choices here, especially with like, can't even match the colors having weird, like one has pinless arms, but the other one doesn't. One has pinless yeah. legs, the other one doesn't. It just seems odd. And like, there's got to be some sort of power effects that you could have put in there that was a little bit more fun. I don't know. I never like to be too down on figures mm -hmm. when they're like ones that people, because the Hyperion I know wasn't he like fifty alone? The one mm, maybe in the box old one, yeah, maybe a while ago. At, I don't at, know. at some point, yeah. But I don't know. I mean, it's cool when they put out. I mean, <laughs> like you said, Doctor Spectrum. Yeah. He's, That's the first in a line. Looking. Yeah. yeah. Never done that before. Hyperion's so. been done once. And Hyperion shows up in some like newer, more recent comics, I think. And I yeah. think I mean there's like talks of a Squadron Supreme movie coming, isn't there? Or show? I think so. Something and like that. I know Henry Cavill is people are wanting him as Hyperion, so maybe that's kind of what they're trying to jump on the hype for. Um yeah, I don't know. Not ones that I'm going to pick up, but again, another pair that I'm, I'm not quite as excited about these as I am with Yondu, but still, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I, I know this kind of just leads to people wanting more 
characters from that team where it's kind of like, okay, yeah. we're going to get more of the original Guardians of the Galaxy or we're going to get more Squadron Supreme. How long is that going to take for all these things to come out? Because I know some people are wanting like more of a box set, like five pack of the Squadron Supreme just to kind of have like a one and done. Yeah, but right. Again, that's you might have to might be a couple years of patience to finish off your team if you even finish off the team. So. <laughs> we cannot verify whether that will happen or not. It's a fan channel exclusive. I don't think we mentioned that. Okay. Um, yeah. So Hasbro Pulse, usually that means GameStop, um, Big Bad Toy Store, Nerdzoic, places like that are probably going to get it. Um, I don't know. I think, especially from GameStop, I would not be surprised if we see a sale on these. Um, not going to see a sale on Hasbro Pulse, but shouldn't be buying from Pulse anyway. So go back and listen to right. our, oh wait, no, I don't think that one will be out yet. That'll be coming out this upcoming Tuesday. Hot takes. Don't buy from Hasbro Pulse. Tune in to find out why. <laughs> um, so until then, make sure you're subscribed so you can see that episode because we've got some hot takes coming. Um, might be a little controversial. We hope you don't get too upset with us. Um, but subscribe, like, share, comment. Are you picking these up? Are you excited about them? You got any gripes with them that we didn't mention? Let us know. And until next time, stay strong. Mm-hmm.